year's conflict that has any stirred the emotions quite like this one. Well, four changes have been made following defeat by Dundee United at Ibrox, uh, with Dibble, Goff, Hatley and Durant replacing Gorham, Petric, Jury and Zilla. Still Celtic have it. It's Jackie McNamara. Away by Bjorkland. McDonnell battles hard. Alberts is there. So too is Ferguson. Now it's Craig Moore. Lead off by Loudon. Alberts. Looking for Hatley. And the challenge leaves Malky Mackay in trouble. Again, the Canio twisting and turning. He's got the free kick. Well, and certainly wasn't practiced in the training ground. A lapse of concentration there between the Canio and Grant. And Celtic had paid a penalty. Three Rangers players getting forward here. It's through for Ian Durant. Well, he snatched at that one. He had Cleland with him as well. What a chance that was for Rangers. Easily dispossessed there. Rangers got a cluster of players around him. Now it's Loudrup trying to open up the Celtic defence. Good ball through now for Alberts. Away to the far side looking for Hatley. Right across goal by him. And on to the top of the net. There's the header going in. And uh, again, you've got to look at the Celtic defence there. Uh, McLaren. This is Ian Ferguson. Looking for Hatley. Alan Stubbs is on the ground. Alan Stubbs was hurt in that exchange with Hatley. Now for the Canio. Cadets just ahead of him. Still it's Cadets. The goalkeeper does well and Alan McLaren gets it away. And he'll drift out, I'm sure. Only Peter Grant, I think, would have chased it into that corner. It certainly wouldn't have been me. I love them. Goalkeeper remain calm. Canio again, driving it through. And it's behind for the goal touch by him to Canio again. Now Ian Durant will be yellow carded. And you just wonder what this uh, might do to the Canio who'd been struggling with injury. It's the Canio! Goes behind for the goal kick. What a magnificent this effort. Is, this is what can happen. Absolute quality from Di Canio. In the last five minutes, Celtic have needed someone to inspire them. And if this doesn't, nothing will. Tremendous ability. Try and get the full-backs more advanced. Mike Namara and McKinley, their, their big strength is going forward. They really haven't hit the byline probably as much as Celtic would like. And there's Ian Durant coming through. And the goalkeeper's off his line. Sensationally take the lead. What a mess the Celtic defence got into there. Just seconds of this first half left. And Stuart Kerr got into all kinds of difficulty here. It was Alberts who swept the ball through. It was Hitley with the Nori. He got the merest touch on it. And then Stubbs headed it into the path of Durant. The goalkeeper had already left his line. Malky Mackay had the chance to clear. Well, Celtic gave him every chance. Coming to half time, you don't take the gamble and try and knock it back to your goalkeeper there. He's in no man's land. Mackay's a bit slow to react. Loudra puts him under pressure, and it's a terrible goal for Celtic to lose. I hope to take this opportunity. Good blocking challenge by Richard Gold. Half time. Charlie. Well, Rangers were played so well, I thought, for 25, 30 minutes. Celtic, in mainstream through the can, over coming back into the game with the quality effort off the bar. But if Celtic can continually defend that against Rangers, they will go another eight or nine games until they get a result, because it was bad, bad defending, and there is no excuse. The cash in, and Rangers are pushing forward. Alberts trying to pick out Lauder. Oh, it's a mistake now by Anoni. Defensively, Celtic are not having a good afternoon. They could be punished again. The goalkeeper's committed himself. Loudrop still has it. Well, once again, Kerr comes springing from his line. 
And the goalkeeper takes it well despite the attentions of Josh Cadet in the majority this afternoon have gone quiet. And it's the small band of Rangers fans, there's seven and a half thousand of them here this afternoon who are enjoying the afternoon. And at Rangers corner. The Rangers are driving this situation now. They can just take their time. Well, that's rather foolish by Ian Ferguson. They'd won the ball and he drives it right into the crowd. And that falls beyond uh, Phil O'Donnell and uh, Clellan Lex quickly. And Peter Grant took a tumble there. Celtic perhaps senses something on here now that uh, Goff has left the field, but uh, again Rangers stand firm. Mark Mackay claims he was held there by Hatley, it's worked out to Rangers' advantage, down goes Loudrop. Mark Mackay has been called over and there's all kinds of trouble breaking out here now. A real flashpoint in the game. And shoot care getting involved and the red card is shown to Hitley well this is incredible Mark Hitley who was offered off at this very ground in the Scottish Cup tie some six years ago is off the field this looks like trouble as well for the Celtic player it's a yellow card for him now the goalkeeper has been called over because he got needlessly involved in things Just all get involved in it. Haley's involved with McNamara and then Stewart just seem to go for Haley and it ends up complete madness. And of course, uh, Rangers have a free kick just outside the area to take after all of this is settled now. So it's Alberts who starts a run, it's Loudrop who clips it forward, but it was no real problem in the end for Stuart Carr. It's away by Mackay, touch on by De Canio, the piece of Cadet could pay off here. Good sliding challenge went in, and it was Bjorklund who made it. Yeah. Brilliant challenge. It's a, no, the, no, the assistant referee is lifting his flag. Put it down again. Let's get another controversial moment. It's Bjorklund, of all people, breaking forward. Here's Alberts. And what a chance for Rangers to finish it off. To the far side, it's well defended by Alan McLaren. Simon Donnelly sends it back in, it comes off Alberts, it's McStay. This is Ferguson, trying to find a way through. O'Donnell knocks it just a bit too far in front, and uh, Durant pounces. Well, he had Charlie Miller running to his left. Good pass from Durant, good touch from Miller. Now it's Loudrop. Alberts has started the running support as well. And Loudrop is clearly pulled there. Well, Malky Mackay has already been booked and he's off a second yellow card and a red card. He's got a blue complaint, he clearly pulled Loudrop, who's shown lovely skills. This time, that's White. Well, he's not a man who likes to be Park, and it's certainly shining on Rangers. Here's Alberts, and once again, he's denied. Tries to get through it. And he's got the free kick. The Celtic are becoming more and more yeah. frustrated. Canio fires it over. Well, another chance goes a begging. And Oni, it was the goalkeeper, looked all at sea. And Oni's got a clear header on it. He just needs to hit the target and surely it's. Pushing Rangers forward. Now it's Loudrop. Challenged by Anoni. And uh, he'll be yellow carded here. With the Canio. And the Canio has been drawn onto a hook here. They better be very careful. But uh, Anoni will certainly be yellow carded. But, uh, the Canio is uh, losing the place down there. The stumble there by Alberts. And the referee awards a goal kick. Jackie McNamara was breaking through. Well, again, Celtic push everyone forward. They don't have the height, though, to worry the Rangers' defence. The final whistle sounds, and that wraps it up for Rangers. The fans celebrate, and there's no doubt about it, over the afternoon, 
there with a better side, but there are ugly scenes down in the field now. Uh, De Canio's getting involved, Ferguson was involved. Those two were going at one another in the latter stages of the game. Still De Canio is going on, and he will certainly be red-carded even after the whistle sounded. This is crazy. Fourth official is getting involved there. Uh, Willie Young is trying to get the Rangers players off the field. But uh, they are going into a Celtic-style huddle, and they're celebrating the fact they have surely won the championship at Parkhead. But some ugly scenes to finish this match, a match in which two players were ordered off. And a number also booked. Five Celtic players booked, three Rangers. Hately ordered off for Rangers and Mackay for Celtic. And some ugly scenes at the end involving De Canio and Ferguson. But the Rangers fans celebrate. And certainly, Charlie, Rangers deserve the day. Yes, I think it's as positively as Rangers have came to Celtic Park in a long time.